Again, welcome back, Dory. I promise you one thing. Uh, between Dory and Terry Funk, when these two men get in the ring, tell you you might look for some tall grass to go squat in because they will be looking for you, and they have been for quite some time. Good to hear Terry's ear is uh, on the men. We'll look for having Terry to join Dory Funk Jr. at Southwest Championship Wrestling in the ring. Kelly Kaniski, big Kelly Kaniski as we get it off. Boy, we got a, I mean, a do what any for you this time. Tito Santana, Mission, Texas. Welcome home, Tito. Going against uh, Kelly Kaniski from Vancouver, British Columbia. Oh, nice. Tito, uh, Kaniski, I guarantee you, don't take Kelly Kaniski lightly. And I don't mean that just because he weighs 251 pounds. Uh, Kelly can take it, he can dish it out. But he's against a young man that... Uh, is a wrestler par excellence. He just won a big Houston tournament. He defeated uh, Nick Bockwinkel, not for the world title, but to win that tournament. And I'll tell you one thing, he comes to town with his act together. Tito Santana, another athlete with his act together, is Tom Pritchard. Tom, uh, welcome uh, once again. Nice to have you with me. Well, thank you very much, Gene. You know, uh, just like you were talking about, Tito Santana is coming off a big win over that Houston tournament. And like you said, he got a big decision over the world's heavyweight champion, Nick Bockwinkel, and uh, I think the fans here in Southwest Championship Wrestling would be very, very impressed with this man. There's a, oh, I guarantee, I hope, I hope Kaniski's right-handed. If he's not, Tommy, he's gonna be when he uh, gets through with that hole. That's gotta put, that has got to get your attention. Santana turns him loose as he goes in the rope. Third man of the rink, Eric Manheimer. Kaniski, Santana. You're supposed to look like, look at Santana on Southwest Championship Wrestling. And down goes Kelly Kaniski. Kelly's uh, dad was a world champion. You saw him here on Southwest Championship Wrestling. He talked to us a couple of weeks ago. And he's very proud of, uh, proud of his son. Kelly. Kelly's been known to bend the rules a little, Tommy. Oh, full tackle. Santana on Kaniski. He drags it. Good arm drag on this Tito Santana. You know, Tito is also a, uh, a former WWF tag team champion. Uh, he held the belts up in New York with Ivan Putsky. And uh, he's holding that armbar pretty good right now. He's got Kelly Glinski in a pretty bad way. Yeah, Kelly's gritting his teeth and wondered uh, should maybe have stayed on the bus uh, till maybe the next match. Of course, Kelly's big. He's been known to bounce back more times than one. The armbar. Kaniski forced him in the ropes all the way across. Off. Kaniski down. Big pull. Flying drop kick. Like the looks of this young man already, Tom. Tito Santana. He drags him. Most definitely. He comes up high on those drop kicks and that arm break was quicker than anything. He's got a lot of upper body strength, as you can tell. He's where he works out hard in the gym. Uh, he's in the best shape. Like I said, he's in the best shape he's ever been in before. Well, that seems to be good enough. Catches him. Catch him. Tom, I missed it. Catch him with the knee coming off, right? Got him right in the knee. It might have been a little low. I couldn't see it from my side. But uh, anytime you come rushing off those ropes, and you have that momentum behind you, you get a knee in the gut like that. It's not going to do you any good. That's body slam. Elbow drop. And Kaniski goes for the kill. Santana bridges out. Two count from Mannheimer. Santana, go, oh, yeah. This young man does wrestle to win. Don't want to overdo it, but I do like the way he looks. Hello. What? Hello, what? Kaniski's going to have to answer the phone with his fingers because I guarantee you're not going to be out of either ear for a while. Santana. Looking good on 251 pound Vancouver, BC product, Kelly Kaniski. Again, Scott Casey has signed a contract, Tom, to wrestle Dick Slater for that Southwest Heavyweight Championship on this show. Slater just won it in the past few days, as a matter of fact. He's putting it on the line against Casey. Well, I'll tell you, you know, Slater has always been tough, but he's also one of the most unpredictable wrestlers today. Uh, uh, to sign a contract against anybody is, is, is what he usually does, and Scott Casey, uh, of course, he's still hot about Tully Blanchard and uh, Gino Hernandez and what they did to him, uh, tearing off his ear and, and things like this. But uh, I, I look for Casey to be in pretty good shape, but Slater is also is, is in tremendous shape as usual. Kaniski, acting like he's working on a blocking skit as he works on Santana. Got him on the buckle. Couple of forearm slams after the shoulder. Santana uses his wrestling boot, bend the knee, floors Kaniski. Kaniski dazed, Santana. Arm whips him into the ring, then clotheslines it. Big double arm clothesline. Two. Kaniski bridges out. Hey, close. I guarantee you that was close. Use the tour of the wrestling boot. 
And again. Kaniski goes into the side head. Shops him with a thumb under the Adam's apple. No, it's not legal. But Kaniski has been known more than once to resort when he's in trouble, and he was definitely in trouble. Arm sling up and over the top. Goes Santana. Tries for a chop. Misses. Big. Full. One, two, three. Body press. The body press got him. Tito Santana. Kelly Kaniski never knew what hit him. Big full body press. Tito looking good his first time out. Got to tell you, the Mission Texas product, Tito Santana. We'll be back with more of Southwest Heavyweight Championship Wrestling after these words. Welcome back to Southwest Championship Wrestling. Big tag team match in the ring, as you say, ladies and gentlemen. And I guarantee you, why'd you watch? It's going to be a long one. I'm talking uh, turn out the lights and get in bed with your hat on. Moon Mulligan from New Orleans, Louisiana, and Tank Patton against Dory Funk Jr. and Manny Fernandez. Dory Funk Jr. came, I guarantee you, to wrestle tonight. Dory is, uh, of course, uh, the well-known brother of Terry Funk. You saw what happened to Terry here uh, a couple of months ago at the hands of Tully Blanchard as Tully attacked him with a claw hammer. But we understand he's on the man as Patton and Funk go together in the middle uh, on the edge of the wing. Dory Funk slings him across. 325 pounds of tank moving. 325 pounds of tank goes down. Arm drag. Dory Funk Jr. Tags in Manny Fernandez. Manny got the side end on Patton. Patton just he just might well been beat beating the hornet's nest with a cue stick. I guarantee he got him some problems. Then comes Moon Mulligan. He thinks he wants some of Manny, and he's wrong. All the way across off Manny. Big full. Kind of a cross a flying tackle and a, and a clothesline. Arm drag. Head scissor. Mulligan on Fernandez. It's happened so fast you can hardly call it. I'm talking these men moving. And not a lightweight among them. Moon Mulligan, 302, from the Cajun country. He liked them red bean and rice, yeah. Goes over and says something to his uh, cohort there, Tank Patton. I know that was going to be a big benefit. In comes Dory Funk Jr., who's still got a man on about his brother Terry, and you can't really fault him for that. I believe you would, and so would I. In comes Patton, works on a rib cage of Funk. Now gets him to the side headlock. Like Tank's got that. That wrist brace, as he calls it, on the left or left arm. I think that arm was broke about 14 years ago. But you got to realize Tank's a slow mender. Big top wrist toe Dory Funk Jr. on Tank Patton. Taking its toe, Patton wanting a little mercy, and Funk has none. Looking down the line. Well, there's a good tag. We'll get. We'll look down the line in a minute. Nick comes Moon. He's up to skullduggery. Side headlock on Funk after he works on his rib cage. Moon Mulligan. Don't take Dory Funk Jr. lightly, Moon, my man. He has been around more square circles than you may have seen. Or maybe he hasn't. But I have a great deal of admiration for the Funk boys. We're going to do. A couple of fine athletes. Moon Mulligan at this point, the sitting side head at the mercy of Dory Funk Jr. Gino Hernandez returns tonight on the show. Haven't seen Gino in a while. Wish I could honestly tell you I'd missed him, but he's a good wrestler. Gino is a fine athlete, and he comes back tonight. Oh, Terry Funk in a beautiful move, holds up, kicks a field goal with the head of Moon Mulligan. And Moon finds the strength to come to his feet, but I guarantee you at this point he's seeing about three of Dory Funk Jr. Well, Mulligan out of the hammerlock and a beautiful move from Dory Funk Jr. to get that hammerlock. Goes against Tank Patton. As they clutch, Patton drives him to the buckle. Now you know Tank better than he's gonna break clean. All the way across, uh oh, hello! Patton into the buckle. Over and across the top, backdrop off of Funk Jr. Puts the backdrop on Patton, that famous twisting leg lock. Patton, you made it to the rope just in time, because I guarantee you the Funks came up with that twisting leg. A nail twisted off all the way to your belly button. Tank Patton. If he doesn't have a relief, look of relief on his face, he should. Uses 
forearm. Yep, drags Funk. Elbow drops him. Story Funk. Under Patton, he, he bridges out. In comes Mullins. I've got to tell you this. At this point, Patton and Mullins working together beautifully as a tag team. He uses the foot on Funk. Up and over. Knee drops him. Moon Mulligan on Dory Funk Jr. bridges out again after a count of one. Goes for a face lock, doesn't get it, ends up with a side head. In comes Tank. Reverse suplex. Dory Funk Jr. gets on Mulligan before he can get out, out of the way. Tank working for the side of the head of Dory Funk. Into the buckle with his head. Tank Patton stuns Dory Funk Jr. Rolls him, tries to go to small package, goes for the body press, and it doesn't work. Over again, Patton gonna try. Got the face lock, tags in Mulligan, but refuses to let loose, and once again they work on the ribcage of Dory Funk Jr. Funk off, big, full forearm. Almost a lifter. Now they'll have to go the wrestling boot. Mulligan on Funk, in comes Patton. Patton tries to knee lift him. Now the side headlock. Patton on Funk. Funk trying to get to Manny Fernandez. Again tonight, Casey has signed a contract to wrestle Dick Slater for the Southwest Heavyweight Championship belt. Kaboom! Moon Mulligan says $5,000 to any man who can pin him. Moon Mulligan got 5,000 on the line of what he calls the Golden Challenge. At this point, he's not in command. He was for a moment. Right now, they're both going against Fernandez. And this, yeah! Manny Fernandez, Moon Mulligan, Dory Buck, Tank Patton, Eric Manheimer. Everybody but the popcorn man in the ring. All the way across. There it goes. Oh, he drops. Fernandez drops. Elbow drops. Moon Mulligan on Fernandez. Moon Mulligan on Fernandez. Meanwhile, outside, two, three. Cheetah, no, no. Manny Fernandez. Manny Fernandez has pinned, has pinned the big and thus far elusive Moon Mulligan with $5,000 on the line. But Moon is gone. There's $5,000 on this. Man, he's going to have a little walking around money. I'd like to talk to him about this. There's five grand on the line, and Moon walked out of the ring. Manny? $5,000. He said anybody pin him. One, two, three, cinco mil dollars. I want $5,000. That's right. One, two, three. He pinned him. One, two, three, five grand on the line. I guarantee he's got to come. But where's his money? He come in here talking. You got that cinco mil dollars. You get on me the now. Where's my money? I don't blame you, Manny. The man has said for weeks, however, that 5,000 on the line, he got pinned, and now he walks. And now he takes off. He takes a shortcut and gets out. He owes this man five big ones. Ladies and gentlemen, the man walked out. He didn't pay him what he owed him. We'll be back with more in just a moment of Southwest Championship Wrestling. Right at the table with me is Gaston Means. The attorney for General Akbar. We got a fine match here tonight, Doyle. These are two fine wrestlers, both of them outstanding young American men. Outstanding young men. Of course, Johnny Mantell may be the finest wrestler in the business today. Now, Mr. Means, I know that's not why you came down here to the table. That's not at all what you had to talk about. What a fine wrestler Bobby Duncan or what a fine wrestler Cowboy John Mantell is. What's the reason? Well, I, I'm just here to, to absorb these fine wrestlers and get prepared for my match, for my match a little bit later with uh, Manuel Villalobos. That's right. You do have him in a match on tonight's card. Well, that's typical. Of course, I'm surprised he hasn't challenged this child over here, challenged an old fat man like me, but he's going to find that he's bit off more than he can chew. Of course, this is a non-sanctioned match, an untelevised match. The Global Wrestling Federation refuses to sanction a baseball bat match, Mr. Means. Well, I can understand that because I'm going to bust that boy open like a lobster. 
but it sure is a pleasure to watch the, the work of a fine, fine wrestler like uh, Cowboy John Mantell. Maybe the best athlete out here you'll see at the Sport of Florida. Looks like he has his hands full right now until he steps over that bottom rope. Well, uh, against another man who sure does look like a cowboy. He comes down dressed in the full cowboy regalia from trench coat to cowboy hat. We're talking about Bobby Duncan. That's called a slicker, Doyle. Bobby, slicker. Bobby Jr. Well, he's a good athlete. He's an up-and-coming young wrestler, and he's uh, one of these days going to be in the same class, possibly, as Cowboy John Mantell if he shows the same kind of staying power. Simon's carry take over into the arm bar by Cowboy John Mantell. Mantell locked in tight. You see a shot over mine and Gaston Means' shoulder there. That's from our perspective, the way we watch these matches. Look at that takedown. Look at that, Doyle. That was fine. Did he, use, did he use that left that left forearm in the throat? No, sir. He used it to the face. Perfectly legal move. Mantel Look at that. There. Puts Bobby Duncan down in the center. Outstanding scientific wrestler. Mantel with the pin cover. Got a two count. Now wrenching on that arm. I'm truly happy that I won't be facing men like this tonight. I can tell you that. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure, especially if they were wielding baseball bats, eh? Well, what can I say? I mean, I haven't, uh, I haven't been a, a, even a college athlete for over 20 years, and, uh, uh, but I, I have a little background. As you know, I served in the United States Army. I had combat training. You think that's going to help you against a professional wrestler, the likes of Manuel Villalobos? Well, it, uh, it, might, uh, it might not help if we were actually wrestling, but when it comes down to real combat, where a man's courage comes out, uh, I, I believe it will hold me in good stead. Oh, so you think that uh, you think that he is afraid of you with a baseball bat? It's rather clear. Is that what you're saying? Oh, it's clear. Well, he, what made it so clear to you? The way he tried to back out after I made the challenge of the baseball bat. He challenged me to a fight, and back I laid out. down the rules, and he tried to back out. Well, no, wait. When did he try to back out? I, I must have missed that part of the interview. That boy was almost in tears. Oh, Meanwhile, we got an outstanding <laughs> match here. Yeah, changed the subject back into the back into the ring. Bobby Duncan having Mantell talk about almost in tears. Did you hear Mantell screaming just moments ago? Well, and I'm again, sure And again there. Mantell.